The Guaranteed Rate Bassmaster Elite at the Mississippi River is sponsored by Dakota, Humminbird, Yamaha, Ranger Boats, Power Pole, Nitro Boats, Berkeley, Skeeter Boats, Mercury, and by Toyota. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Dave Mercer. Thank you very much, La Crosse, Wisconsin. Some of you must have been here for the pre-tournament way, and we had our folks from Marathon up here. It was thrilling. It was exhilarating. But now it's time for the main event, the final Semi-final Sunday of 2022. Hard to believe. This season started 199 days ago. So much on the line. Today's weigh-in. you got to stick with us, too. we got 47 anglers weighing in here today. But so many things. The last two anglers weighing in will be Brandon Lester and Brandon Polinick. They're trying to battle it out, and one of them is going to leave here with what many anglers believe is the most coveted award in professional bass fishing. The Bassmaster Classic is a Super Bowl of bass fishing, but the event that the the award that you get for being the best angler all season long is the Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year title, and uh, we're going to see it go down here at this way in this afternoon, most likely. And then that's not all. We have more. We have bonus stuff. Right after that, we'll bring out the top 10 that will be fishing on Championship Sunday. And keep in mind, this event is different than any other Elite Series event in the fact that this is win and you're in. You win this event and you're guaranteed to fish the Super Bowl of Bass Fishing, the Bassmaster Classic. It's the only Elite Series event all season long that you can do that. We have several anglers in our top 10. Keith Combs being one of them that wants to take that coveted Bassmaster Classic berth. If you're outside of... Angler of the Year points, if you can't make up those progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points, you can fix it all. This is the big eraser. It takes up care of all the bad and puts you in the Bassmaster Classic. And we're going to give away $100,000, and they're going to become the guaranteed rate Bassmaster Elite Mississippi River Champion, and it's going to be a lot of fun. But that's going to be tomorrow, our top ten. But we got a lot going on here today, and I thank each and every one of you. We thank Explore Lacrosse, explorelacrosse.com. Make sure you go buy that website. Thank them for bringing the Elite Series back here to Lacrosse, Wisconsin for the fifth time. How cool is that, ladies and gentlemen? We are happy to be back here. Such an incredible fishery. I mean, if you've watched Bass Live, it's some of the best coverage we have all year long. The anglers are catching them in so many different ways. You're, you, live, you are lucky to live on a body of water that literally... You can fish the way you want to fish in this body of water, and it's a great place for us to finish our season, and uh, we're happy to be here once again. But I need you guys to do me a big favor. I need you to make lots and lots of noise. As I said, we only have 47 anglers. Yesterday we had 90. That was exhausting. This is so much more fun. Can you guys make some noise for our anglers? I always say I'm the world's least likely cheerleader. They don't give me pom-poms, but they give me a slimy Toyota towel that the anglers wipe their hands with. So when you see me spin this towel, I need you to get really, really loud. Let's try it one time. I think that was pretty good, but I think our people in the bleachers are thinking that they're not part of this show. I mean, this is not, you don't just sit and watch here. Bassmaster fans become part of the show. All these cameras around here are going to show this on FS1. As you can see, Elite Series competition every Saturday and Sunday on FS1 starting at 8 a.m. So when you see these cameras around here, I need you to show the world that Lacrosse, Wisconsin, the former home of the most bars per capita of any city in America is a place to come and have a good time, right? It is the final semifinal Sunday of 2022. La Crosse, Wisconsin, are you ready? No, 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 no. This is the guaranteed rate Bassmaster Elite at the Mississippi River. One more time. Are you ready? Mm, let's get ready to win! But wait! But wait, 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 stop! I screwed something up again. 
I knew I was going to do this. I got so excited to meet the anglers, I forgot. We need somebody to weigh the fish, right? Because Lord knows I can't even announce people right, so I clearly can't weigh the fish. Let's test that noise. Are you ready for our tournament director, LT, Lisa Talmadge? I got all excited there, Lisa. I'm sorry. I'll give you a second to set up the scale. And we'll, we, we, we'll be, you guys are really ready now for sure. I don't even have to ask you again. I know you're ready. And we are ready. We've got a bunch of anglers backstage. This is the end of their season, ladies and gentlemen, for a lot of our anglers weighing in here today. And everybody here that's Bassmaster fans, you know all year you get to watch so many incredible moments happen on Bass Live. And so many moments are because of these anglers. And I want Lacrosse Wisconsin to do us a, a big favor and make lots and lots of noise as we welcome them up on the stage. One more time. Are you ready? All right. We are going to start this right. He is your reigning Falcon Rods Rookie of the Year from Wisconsin, Jay Securet. I was so excited to see you, Jay. I almost totally forgot about Lisa, and she's a very important part of this event. Five fish here today. He needs three pounds, 12 ounces to take the lead. Lacrosse, you think he's got it? 14 pounds, 9 ounces with 42 pounds. Four, 12 ounces, 42, 12. Jay Securet, the youngest Elite Series champion in history, is not done here in 2022. An incredible season. The youngest Elite Series champion in history. The biggest weight in the history of smallmouth bass tournaments, 102 pounds and 8 ounces. And now he's going to try to take over Phoenix Boats Big Bass for the day. Probably going to do that because he's weighing in first, guaranteed. Three pounds, 11 ounces, he's done that. And with 42 pounds, 12 ounces, he might be going to work again tomorrow. <laughs> no, it'll be close. I was just looking at the bass track back, backstage, and uh, I don't know, we'll see. But, wow, hats off to this crowd. This is, this is crazy uh, to have this many people that support me um, in Wisconsin. I'm two hours from home, and uh, I did not think that this many people reach out to me and be here at the weigh-in and you know obey me when I'm on stage it's a uh, it's truly crazy and uh, I want to go back to winning rookie of the year um, everybody did a phenomenal job that was competing in that against me and uh, all my sponsors family friends everybody that's here um, my parents my girlfriend I, there's so many people here that are supporting me um, truly crazy if I make it tomorrow um, I'm excited to get out there and get after them. We'll see. I got one area that, that's been basically I've caught every single fish this week. Um, it's like the size of this, not even the half this stage. So we'll see if I get out there. If I don't, I'm extremely happy with this tournament. Um, I'm not a local on this river. I just want to make that clear with people here. Um, I'm not a local by any means, but uh, I happen to, to find a few fish this week. i got to ask you, I mean, you're a very emotional person. We've seen you not really very emotional at all but, but but how did you celebrate last night did you celebrate or have you celebrated yet uh, it was actually my travel partner's birthday yesterday so if anyone could wish alex redwine a ha well happy bladed birthday he'll be on stage in a little bit but uh he had a pretty good day as well and we just went and got some mexican food and celebrated a little birthday for him last night must have been wild <laughs> <laughs> ah mediocre <laughs> i don't <laughs> At 3 in the morning, I heard some yell. I'm staying downtown at 3 in the morning. I heard some yelling outside of the hotel. Any chance that was you? Probably not. <laughs> I figured not so much. But an incredible season, man. It's been an honor to call everything you've accomplished this year. A two-time FLW Tour winner from Shelby, North Carolina. Get loud for Matt Airy. 30 pounds and 5 ounces at the start of the day. He needs 12 pounds and 8 ounces to take the lead away from Jay Securet. 14 pounds, 11 ounces with 45 pounds even. A brand new leader in Matt Airy. Looking to get back to the Bassmaster Classic. Another big year for Team Toyota's Matt Airy in the top 10 in progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. 
45 pounds even, you're leading this event. Going to see if we can take over Phoenix Boats Big Bass for the day. Needs to be better, better than 3 pounds, 11 ounces. That one, 3 pounds, 9 ounces, not going to take that away. But you do take the way, lead away from Jay Securit, and I'm sure he is visibly shaken backstage. I heard you talking about him getting emotional. I said, I about ran around stage just to see that, but then I realized you weren't telling the truth. <laughs> so, Jay, Jay is a, a, I guess, cool pan Jay. That could be his nickname, but uh, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's the river. We had a, a really good flurry early this morning, and after the first couple hours, I, honestly, it was tough on me. So I'm, uh, hopefully we'll make it tomorrow. We're banking on an early bite again tomorrow. We've got to capitalize on some of those three and a half, four pounders, though, to win this thing. I, my goal was to get to 45 pounds after three days, and we're sitting it looked like 45 pounds even. And uh, um, I figured 60 pounds would be, uh, would be hard to beat coming in this thing, but, um, you know, we'll see how it shakes out. You've had an incredible season no matter what happens here. I mean, another top ten in Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. How much would that title mean to you, though, at this point in your career? Man, we've been close. You know, we had a couple of tour wins over at FLW, but we don't have that blue trophy yet. We were close to the classic trophy at Ray Roberts. We were close to a blue trophy at a couple of the Elite Series tournaments first couple of years out here. And, uh, man, I tell you what, I, that blue trophy looked good in between those two FLW Tour trophies. Love to see it happen for you. We wish you luck. Hope to bring you out of part of the top ten at the end of our weigh-in. Next up, a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion from Chattanooga, Tennessee, Buddy Gross. 27 pounds and three ounces to start the day for Buddy Gross. Five fish here today. Five fish for Buddy Gross here on Semi-final Sunday, 12 pounds, 15 ounces. You move into third place with 40 pounds and 2 ounces. A reminder, at the very end of our way in the top 10 will be introduced to you. Find out who's doing battle for the final day of Bassmaster Elite Series competition. But, man, another great season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, buddy. You know, it started out with a bang, got the wind down in Florida, and it just kind of fizzled out. I just kind of started running some bad luck and bad, bad times. But... Lord blessed us today, you know, with a great finish, and uh, it's going to come to an end today. But i got to say thank you to my mom and my, all my family, my wife, and the guys I travel with. It's just been a great year, and uh, we did make the classic, though, so that's the plus. But uh, y'all got a great fishery. It's a little edgy out there, but it's a great place. Thank you all for having us. Elite Series win and a classic berth. That's a pretty successful season, if you ask me. Speaking of Elite Series victories, he took one just last week. A former Elite Series Rookie of the Year from Eden Prairie, Minnesota, the Sleepy Assassin, Austin Felix. 26 pounds and 11 ounces to start the day. He's got five to add to that here today. 13 pounds, 4 ounces. He moves into fourth place with 39 pounds, 15 ounces. Get loud for the Elite Series champion. Thirty-nine pounds, fifteen ounces, and uh, Austin, you move into fourth place. And no matter what way this shakes out, you got to be happy with uh, how the final two events of 2022 went. Yeah, I couldn't be happy with the whole situation, to be honest with you. Uh, I think this is going to be my last day of the year, so it's a little bittersweet. Kind of getting on a roll now, so we're going to have to wait for six seven months we'll see when the schedule comes out i'm looking forward to that but uh it's good to be close to home i've had a lot of people just show up for this one and it's uh it, it's a nice change of pace so hopefully we get to come back here again but thanks to everybody for coming out thank you guys for doing everything this week and uh the whole season and i'll let you keep rolling thank you for being a big part of the elite series and i hear the schedule is coming very very soon a four-time Bassmaster winner, a two-time member of the Bassmaster Century Club from Somerville, South Carolina, Patrick Walter. <laughs> 26 pounds and 11 ounces to start the day. He's got five fish. Took a top 10 in South Dakota, 13-1 today, and back in the top 10 in fifth place with 39 pounds and 12 ounces. Get loud, Lacrosse, Wisconsin. Thirty-nine, twelve, sitting in fifth place. And man, uh, as I said, you took a top ten last week in South Dakota. And uh, 
I mean, you've, this northern swing for you has been really incredible. You know, yeah, we finished the season off strong. That's really what I wanted to do. Come here, get a check, get a chance at a top ten. Hey, never got a big bite this week. Absolutely love this river. It was phenomenal. I mean, I caught 30 to 40 fish every single day. Every day was different, whether I was catching them on top water, flipping, or dragging a Carolina rig. But just happy to end the season strong, like you're saying. We got a long off season. Get things prepared for next year. <laughs> Hey, keep at them. I mean, we're going to end strong. Hopefully, we'll start strong again next year. Your your mustache is looking less disheveled than it was at the last event. Have you started oiling it, or well, what is happening there? Well, I actually started had to brush it a little bit. I actually didn't pay attention to it until you had to point it out. I had just been sleeping on it, and I didn't realize how much it was getting in my mouth. And then it's, yeah, it was all over the place. Well, it's a work in progress. I appreciate that visual. It's been a great season. It's awesome to have you here. He's a two-time Bassmaster winner, the 2021 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Newmarket, Minnesota, the amazing fighter man, Seth Fighter. 26 pounds and nine ounces to start the day. He's got five fish here today, semifinal Sunday at the guaranteed rate, Bassmaster Elite on the Mississippi River. Five fish for Seth Fighter, 26 pounds, nine ounces after two days, day number three, stop number nine, five fish, got nothing else, really ran out of words, already. F five fish, 12 pounds, 10 ounces, gives him 39 pounds and three ounces. Seth Fighter inside the top 10 currently. Proud member of Team Rapala and Team Daiwa. I want to thank them for being part of our expo this week. 39 pounds and 3 ounces and uh, sitting in 6th place. And man, uh, coming back to this fishery, we're really, you know, your upward, spire, upward climb that just literally since that tournament that you finished second place in here, you have literally not not caught them since. It, it, from the outside looking in, got to be special to come back here. Oh, yeah, I love this place, love this town, enjoy fishing on the river, and, yeah, this is kind of where I got my little breakthrough or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I, I just really enjoy fishing here. I need to fish here a little more often, but uh, hopefully we come back in a couple of years. And, I don't know, my mom and dad came down, so there's Pedro. Yeah. All gimped up. Uh. <laughs> this year, you've done a great job representing Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. That run may officially come to an end here today, uh, but I got to congratulate you and thank you for for representing the sport all season long. Yeah, no, I had an awesome year last year. You ain't gonna have too many years like that. Hopefully, you get to have another one before it's all over. But uh, yeah, hopefully, are we handing the trophy off today, or are we waiting, or what? Well, that's not really up to me. It's up to the fish. But, yeah, at the very end of this, I think it's going to go down. Well, I'll hang out anyways. I'll be here. All right. Oh, it's great to have you here. A 10-time classic qualifier, former TTBC champion from Asheville, Alabama, Matt Heron. Twenty-seven pounds and five ounces. To start the day for Matt Heron, five fish to add to that here today. Thirteen pounds even, he moves into third place with 40 pounds and five ounces. Forty pounds and five ounces. You move into third place currently, and uh, man, day number one fireworks went out in second place on day two, and uh, it seems to have been a little tougher on you. Not number wise. I mean, you're catching tons of fish, just the size. Yeah, you know, this is two years in a row, 2018 and this year. I've, I've got one little area that sooner or later I'm gonna win one of these things in this area, but it's affected by the Root River. And every time I've been here, it's like the gods send a major flood down through there and you think I would have learned this time but I caught them there on day one I caught 16 8 and I thought it would flow on out and I just 
kept trying to go back to that area. There's such quality fish there, and I had some other stuff going on. I, I would say I probably catch 50 to 100 a day. It's a phenomenal river. Y'all take care of it. I love coming here. The, the, the fishing around the bluffs of Minnesota and Wisconsin is awesome. And uh, look forward to coming back. It's always great to have you here. He's a former Elite Series Rookie of the Year and Elite Series Champion from Georgia. Get loud for Drew Benton. Had 29 pounds and 6 ounces as of this morning. Needs 15-11 to take the lead. But right now, just looking to get inside the top 10. 14 pounds, 12 ounces. With 44 pounds, 2 ounces, well within the top 10. He's in second place and just 15 ounces short of the overall lead. 44 pounds and 2 ounces, and as I said, just 15 ounces short of the overall lead. And man, it'd be a sweet way to finish this season, holding a blue trophy here tomorrow. It really would, and the good thing about it is the river, and anything can happen on the river. So, you know, if we could just run into a couple of those better than average tomorrow, it would really make things interesting. I got off to a really fast start this morning, and I thought it was going to be my day, and it just kind of fizzled out after that. So hopefully we'll get off to a fast start and do something totally different tomorrow, and uh, maybe we'll make a run at it. Love to see you win this title. Look forward to seeing you in our top ten intros. He's an eight-time classic qualifier, a three-time TTBC champion, a two-time Elite Series champion from Huntington, Texas, Keith Combs. Looking for 13 pounds, 5 ounces to take the lead. Had 31 pounds, 12 ounces as of this morning. Keith Combs has got five fish all alive. Going to go for a ride in our AFCO Yamaha live release boats. Five all alive, 15 pounds, and an ounce with 46 pounds, 13 ounces. Keith Combs is now leading the guaranteed rate Bassmaster Elite at the Mississippi River. Forty-six pounds, thirteen ounces, and you came in this tournament with one goal. It's one of the few rare Elite Series tournaments where guys kind of can turn their back on points, whether they're in the Classic or out the Classic. They swing in this event. You don't kind of conserve things. Well, you need this victory to get into the Bassmaster Classic, and you are five fish away from achieving that goal, Keith. Well, that would be great. I mean, I've, I've, I've had a struggle this year and dug myself in a deep hole and, you know, kind of came into this thing. And it's, it's kind of like going and fishing a, a championship tournament, like you say, where you can just say, hey, I'm going to lay it on the line. I got nothing to lose. And, I, and that's really helped me this week because, you know, I'm, I'm making a long run. I'm hitting a lot of spots. I'm running my Yamaha through some stuff I shouldn't run it through. And, uh, hey, it's working out. But, you know, I got an area to myself and that's paid off big time just by taking those gambles. But, uh, you know, we got one more day. And it's going to boil down to a big bass tournament. Whoever gets that big kicker tomorrow is going to take the prize here. And you never know. You can catch, like today, I got in a flurry and just caught them and caught them and caught them. And they're, they're threes. And threes are awesome here, but you need a four. So I'm going to pray tomorrow I get that four. It's got to be setting up for one of the best final day events. Like to finish the season, we're going to literally have a top ten that's like anybody can win tomorrow. I'm, am I dramatizing that? You're always dramatizing stuff, well, Dave, but, but, but you're right, and that's, that's why we love you. But no, I mean, that, that makes it exciting because, you know, who's going who's gonna to take away the, the and it, So many times we come into the final day, and it's almost decided. I mean, when you go to a lake like a Gunnersville or a Sam Rayburn or a Falcon or something like that, Fork, you kind of know who's going to take it out. But here, that's what makes this place so cool, and we're not going to know till it's all done. Can't wait to watch it go down on Bass Live. Let's hear it for your tournament leader. A Bassmaster Classic qualifier. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series from North Carolina, KJ Queen. Had 28 pounds, 15 ounces. Five fish to add to that here today. 14 pounds, 11 ounces with 43 pounds, 10 ounces. KJ Queen moves into fourth place currently.
43 pounds, 10 ounces, sitting in fourth place currently. I know you'd love to get out there, but whatever way you look at it, going to get some good, good, a great payday to finish the season and s some more money for those twins. That's right. That's right. They're going to be eating good. That's, I mean, that's all that matters. And, uh, man, I'm telling you, I'd love to be able to go out there and fish tomorrow. I, I think I could put some big ones in the boat. My first seven fish this morning I didn't connect on. Finally, about 10 o'clock, they started eating, and I put some fish in the boat. But, uh, you know, that this morning it might have hurt me, it might not, but I'd like to get back out there again tomorrow and try it. We'd love to watch it go down and keep my fingers crossed and hope you're part of our top ten at the end of this weigh-in. I know you're going to get loud. He is the reigning and defending Bassmaster Classic champion from Park Hill, Oklahoma, Jason Christie. 26 pounds and 8 ounces as of this morning. Looking for 12 pounds, 11 ounces to get inside the cut. He's got five fish here today. I want to remind everyone, bring our top 10 out at the very end of this way in 15 pounds, 7 ounces. He moves into sixth place with 41 pounds, 15 ounces. And let's hear it from one of the most feared names in professional bass fishing, Jason Christie. 41-15, and uh, man, this is a fun place to finish the season. It is. Uh, you know, I'm backstage looking. You, you look around and you see guys. I don't know if people realize the, the drama that goes on in this event. I mean, there's guys that struggling to get back in the Elite Series. There's guys wanting to make their first classic. You know, there's guys trying to win Angler of the Year. It's just there's a lot of tension in this event. Um, you know, and it, it was a good finish for me. I think the first day having 12 pounds was going to cost me, but, uh, you know, it's been a great season. I mean, well, we fished 10 events, and I was fortunate enough to win two and win the Classic, which, you know, there's dreams be, that's going to be made today for somebody, and mine was made this spring. And, and uh, you know, it was a great event and took a lot of pressure off me and just let me go fishing for the rest of the year. And, it was a lot of fun fishing this year, being in the Classic. You know, I got to do stuff uh, that I don't normally do. I mean, I'm a gambler, don't get me wrong, but I gambled a lot the rest of the season. So, uh, you know, it's been fun, and and uh, hopefully next year maybe you get another one and get to fish free again. But, you know, thanks to all the uh, people that's here today and, and Bass for, you know, providing uh, the platform that they do for us, and then all of my sponsors, they're great. And uh, I can't wait till uh, we kick off. Hopefully, we get the schedule this week and know where we're going. I hear it's coming out very soon. Yeah, I heard lacrosse in February. Oh, yes. Well, it'll be awesome. It will be awesome. I know if it's lacrosse in February, you might as well just give Gussie the trophy because he's, uh, he's got all of the equipment, I think, all the hole digging stuff. Well, just give you one tip. You better put some studs on your tracks if you're coming here in February. I don't even know if you know what. That means but. Oh, I, I have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> so yeah. always great to have you here a great season let's hear it for Jason Christie all the hits keep coming a six-time Bassmaster winner 16-time classic qualifier a former progressive Bassmaster angler of the year the hack attack Greg Hackney 26 pounds, 10 ounces as of this morning, looking for 13.2 to slide into the top 10 currently. 12 pounds even, he moves into 12th place with 38 pounds and 10 ounces. The pride of Gonzales, Louisiana, another great payday on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Get loud for the hack attack. 38 pounds, 10 ounces, and a mere... 199 days ago, our season kicked off, and uh, man, it has been a uh, an adventurous season this year. Every, every year, full of crazy tales and turns, but uh, another good one for you, Greg. Uh, yeah, it's been a roller coaster ride this year. I've had some good ones and some bad ones, but uh, it's hard to believe it's over with. I'm kind of I'm kind of sad about that. It was a long break before you know before we get after it again, but. Um, I always like coming here. This place is super good. I mean, there's going to be tons of fish weighed in, just like always. It's just a fun place to fish. Today, I was lots of tooth fish out there, a lot of fish with teeth that cause a lot of issues today. But, uh, but I do. I love it here. The weather's great. And uh, so yesterday was an accomplishment for me. So when I weighed that bag of fish in yesterday, that will be my 17th Bassmaster Classic I qualified. So it's, it's, it's a great week. 
I, uh, I just want to thank Bass for have, giving us that opportunity, and uh, I just, I'm still happy to be here. Happy to have you here, but I got to ask you before you leave, we don't get to see you for a while. What does Greg Hackney do in the off season? I do a little hunting and fishing. That's about it, and that's about all I know to do. That's that's funny. So when I retire, what I'm gonna do? Hunt and fish. That's what I do now. <laughs> so I just have to do this forever, I guess. We love having you on the Elite Series. A three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Mississippi. Get loud for Brock Mosley. Rolled out in the Dakota Lithiums wrapped Phoenix Mercury today with 26 pounds and 12 ounces. Five fish to add to that here today. 16 pounds even, and he rockets in the top 10 in fifth place with 42 pounds and 12 ounces. Get loud for Dakota Lithium Pro, Brock Mosley. Forty-two pounds, twelve ounces. He's sitting in fifth place inside our top ten. Going to weigh that for Phoenix Boats Big Bass needs to be better than three eleven. Three pounds, thirteen ounces. So you take that over, and uh, man, book ended a little tougher day yesterday, but day one and today, man, you are hammering them, and uh, might have done enough to get back out there again tomorrow. And how about you just? Finish all these seconds and finish it off with a number one to finish 2022. <laughs> I would love to, but uh, this is not the place you make up ground. Uh, you know, after yesterday, I struggled. Um, I had several groups of fish found in practice, and uh, two of them, I, I haven't found, I couldn't relocate them the last two days, and, and today I found both of them and caught all my weight out of them. But uh, coming in, I was on the classic bubble, and uh, about 9.30, I didn't have a fish. Yeah, and that gorilla started hooking me down real tight and uh, got lucky and found those 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 schools again. But, um, you know, if I make it, you know, I'd love to go. But, uh, you know, it's been a, it's been a good year. Um, thanks to Dakota with you. Um, you know, without them, I couldn't do this. You know, it, uh, I don't even want to start naming all my sponsors because I'll forget forget somebody, make somebody upset. Some, but, uh Thanks to my family. Uh, hopefully it's enough to get me in the Classic, so uh, I'm going to be sweating it out more than I am the top ten. What's a great season for you regardless. Always great to have you here and hope you achieve all of that. One of only two Canadians ever to win a Bassmaster Elite Series event from Kenora, Ontario, Canada. The great Canadian Snow Leopard, Gussie Jeff Gustafson. 28 pounds and an ounce to start the day. He's got five fish here today, looking for 11.14 to get inside the cut currently. More to stay there till the end of the weigh-in. 11 pounds, 7 ounces, puts him in 12th place with 39 pounds, 8 ounces. Going to finish with another good payday. A little short of the top 10, but man, you got to be happy with uh, another great season on the Elite Series. Yeah, it, it has been. Uh, I, I didn't make any top 10, so a little disappointed there. But I got my limit every day of the year of the whole season. So I don't think I've ever done that before. It's a lot harder than it sounds going all over the place, believe me. But, uh, yeah, no, huge thanks to Bassmaster for giving us the opportunity to have our dream job up here. And, uh, yeah, I've been on the road for a couple weeks, so looking forward to getting home and seeing my wife and my family. And, uh you know, it'll countdown will be on to till we start again next year. It's awesome to have you on the Elite Series. Hey, you represent Sagal. so many. Oh, fixture your time, Sega. Sorry. Just come on, come on, yourself. <laughs> just a just a short Canadian moment there. Uh, they didn't even shake my hand. Left. Yeah, that's well, you, so bad. I love you too. Let's keep him rolling. He is a former Elite Series Rookie of the Year, an Elite Series champion, a member of the Bassmaster Century Club, Drew Cook. How come you don't ever tell me you love me when you walk off stage? Because I, I love you all the time. You know. Aww. 26 pounds, 6 ounces to start today. 5 fish, 12 pounds, 7 ounces. He moves into 14th place with 38 pounds, 13 ounces, 14th place currently, with 38 pounds, 13 ounces, and another great season for Drew Cook and the Avco Rap Skeeter Yamaha.
And that fish is ornery. Look at it. Got it got you. That fish wasn't done fighting. I don't blame him. I, uh, I probably would have done the same thing if somebody had jerked me out of a grass mat today. But, you know, I almost finished on a really strong note. I lost two fish today that would have, you know, put me in the cut. But it, uh, you know, it just wasn't supposed to happen. I uh, caught all my fish this week flipping a quarantine crawl from Big Bite on a Texas rig and cut banks, throwing a spro frog, um, throwing a, a new spro uh, walking bait. And a, uh, today I actually caught them on the, uh, the zero minnow, which is a wake bait. But, uh, man, it was another great year. I can't complain at all. Um, you know, we got to win our first elite event, and that was something that I really wanted to do, and we were able to do it. Well, we got us a Century Club. Uh, I'm just ready to get home. I thank all my sponsors and, and my family for, for putting up with us. This is a very, very hard lifestyle, especially with uh, – a little kid. I got an 11-month-old uh, at home, and we're fixing to have his first birthday, I think, in like two weeks. So he's about to be walking, be chasing him around. So I'm glad we're going to have some time off to uh, to spend spend some time at home with the family. But looking forward to hunting some deer and getting ready for next year. Always great to have you here. Congrats on another good one. A two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. 29 pounds and two ounces to start the day today. He's got five fish looking for 10, 13 to get inside our top 10 and keep this season alive for the final day of competition championship Monday 14 pounds 5 ounces 14 5 and with 43 pounds 7 ounces the G-Man is currently in fifth place Forty three pounds seven ounces sitting in fifth place and man your season may not be over G I got one more day in me. I'm a little old. I tell everybody, don't let the gray hair on the roof fool you. I said, they still fire in the cellar. I got, I got another day left in me. I'm, I mean, I may have to drink a whole bunch of Mountain Dew and Black Rifle coffee at the same time, pour it in both ends and stand on my hands, but I'll, I, I can make it one more day all the way down there on Lock 9, but I'm going to need some type of them CBD treats or something, because that... That whole locking deal and barges and me trying to watch them paint ships without my glasses on, I just finally said heck with it. The good Lord's got that. I'm just going to the lock. I'm tired of it. And we had to come back early today. We got down at 8 and had to come back at 11.30. just doesn't give you much time to get nothing done, but I had two areas I thought I could catch them, and I caught the weight that I have, and I thought if it's, if it's meant to be, I'll be back out tomorrow and try to burn it down. But they had a bunch of barge traffic coming, and I want to give a big shout-out to the lock masters at Lock 9. I don't know if any of y'all's ever locked down. Every one of them guys and ladies working there are total legit. They've been nothing but super cool. They get you in. They get you out. They understand bass fishing. They know what's on the line. They tell you when the barges are coming. And as a fisherman, that's all you can ask for to base your strategy on. I've been in other locks with different, but those guys, straight legit. I can't wait to watch it go down, but it is going to be like an old school, target rich, big, like it's gonna like the amount of fish you guys are catching, I, I you don't realize how much fun this is for every one of us to watch. And guys are catching them in every single way. But can I ask you, is this gonna be the day tomorrow? Will Gerald Swindle hold Big Blue right here on this stage? It very well could be. I don't normally ever say that. Uh, I got an area that's got a bunch of fish in it, and I haven't been able to spend much time in it. I like my chances. If I go back, you just need a little bit of luck and. I promise y'all, if I hold that blue trophy, y'all want to be right up front with them iPhones because we're going to be TikTok famous. I can promise you that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Gerald Swindle, let's hear it for him. Keep the noise going for a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Newcomerstown, Ohio, Hunter Shryock. 28 pounds even, four fish to add to that. He grew the short straw and had to follow Gerald Swindle on the stage, which is never easy. 9 pounds, 12 ounces. He moves into 17th place with 37 pounds, 12 ounces. Man, another great season on the Elite Series, Hunter. Yeah, you know, we came into this event chasing points, trying to get that classic line, and I, that, that fifth fish is going to, I'm going to think about that for a long time. But i got to give a big shout-out to my wife down here. Uh, she sacrifices so much all season long. Nobody, nobody knows how much we go through, but... Um, 
Sorry about that. Lost for words. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. This is awesome having it in a ball field. I know the last time I seen this was at the Classic. Uh, super cool to have all you guys here. All my sponsors, Ivy Garcia, Berkeley, X2 Power, Academy. Uh, thank you guys. And uh, we're going to look forward to next season and get things rolling. And y'all stick around. It's going to be a show tomorrow. Have a great off season. He's a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a calm, cool cat from Colgate, Oklahoma, Luke Palmer. 28 pounds and 9 ounces coming into today, looking for 11.9 to get inside the cut. Unfortunately, too short of his limit here today. Three fish, 8 pounds, 3 ounces, gives you 36 pounds, 12 ounces, and... Uh, you got to leave this one scratching your head because I know you were fairly confident to, you know, at least get a limit tomorrow today. You know, I, and I had opportunities. That's what I had a lot of times this this year total losing fish and stuff, and that happened today. But my starting spot dried up finally on me, and I was really banging on it for it to happen for me. But it didn't. You know, that's part of it. You know, I needed three cuts this fall to or summer, heck, whatever it is. It kind of all runs together now, but. Uh, you know, I made those three cuts up here north, so that was big for me, especially in the smallmouth country. So, you know, I learned a lot, and, uh, you know, you just got to keep doing that because these guys are good. They're going to catch them. doesn't matter where we go. But, you know, I can't thank Amped Batteries enough, Yum, Falcon, Horizon Trike Marine, and I'm glad I was wearing that Gill rain suit this morning because I didn't have to worry about getting wet. You know, it's great seeing all the people showing out and everything. I appreciate you all, and uh, I guess we'll see you all next year. Always great to have you here. A seven-time FLW Tour winner, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. 29 pounds and 15 ounces to start the day. He's got five fish looking for 10-3 to get inside the cut. 13 pounds, 7 ounces inside the cut, currently in 6th place with 43 pounds and 6 ounces. Get loud for the Skeeter Yamaha Pro. <laughs> 43 pounds and 6 ounces sitting in 6th place. Going to weigh this for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Needs to be better than 313 to take the lead for the day. 3 pounds, 12 ounces, a little short there, but uh, sitting in sixth place. And keep our fingers crossed it's enough to stay inside that top ten. I know. You know, it's going to be tight. I'm going to, you know, either barely make it or barely miss it. But, you know, my my main goal was to win this tournament. And, and, if, and you know, with that, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. These boys called them back there. But my other goal was to make the Bassmasters Classic. And I came into this event kind of on the bubble. And uh, so I think we did that. I think we made the classic. So I'm, I'm going to be super excited about that. Thank you. Uh, I want to say hi to my wife and my kids at home. I know they're watching right now. And uh, just fished hard for them all week. Hopefully I'll get one more day, and uh, we'll see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed. It's been great having you on the Elite Series. And we hope to bring you out as part of our top ten. He's a Bassmaster Open winner. He won the first Elite Series event he ever fished from South Carolina. Get loud for Brian New. 29 pounds even as of this morning. He needs 11.5 to get inside the cut. 16 pounds, 5 ounces, all the way to second place with 45 pounds and 5 ounces. And once again, Brian New going to be fishing on Championship Monday here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. 16.5, giving you 45 pounds and 5 ounces. That's our VMC Monster Bag of the Day. Not for the tournament. That belongs to Brian Schmidt from day number one with 17.10. That fish there, 3.12. Uh, gonna, not going to take over Phoenix Boats Big Bass, but all you care about right now, I'm sure, is that top 10, and you don't have anything to worry about. You're sitting in second place, and it looks like your season's extended one more day. I like it. I like it. I'm ready to get home, see my family, see my little girl, see my other dog. My wife, she likes to bring hers. She don't want to bring mine, but mine's sweeter. So you can, I'll argue with her all day long, but man. What's the, where, can we see your dog? Or no, your, oh, the do, dog's loose. Okay. The dog's over there, but it's a little, it's a little tiny dog. What is your dog? A black dog. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a cockapoo. So a sweet, it's a sweet dog. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but. Uh, cockapoo. 
the, I don't know, something uh, like that. All right. All right. Yeah, but uh, awesome way to end this year. It looks like we'll make the top ten. I had a had three awesome days, and once again, I want to thank Cliff Prince because I mean, I caught a lot of what I weighed in today on what Cliff gave me, and um, you know, I don't know what would have happened yesterday if I'd have fished at that time somewhere else, but it don't matter. I fished it right there. So thank you, Cliff Prince, once again. I'm ready to get back out there again tomorrow. Um, man, it's uh, it's awesome way to end the year. That's all I got. Go get rigged and get ready. We look forward to seeing you back out there tomorrow and seeing you at the end of our way and as part of our top ten. A five-time classic qualifier, former Elite Series Rookie of the Year from North Carolina, Brandon Card. 27 pounds and 10 ounces to start the day. Five fish for Brandon Card here today. He's 14-5 to get in the cut. Five fish here today. 12-7 puts him in 13th place with 40 pounds and an ounce going to call an end to his Elite Series season. But a great season it's been once again for Brandon Card. Digging deep in that VMC weigh-in bag. Let's hear it for him. Brandon, uh, unfortunately, that's going to call an end to this event and an end to the 2022 Elite Series for you. But uh, you got to be happy with this one again. Another fun year. Yeah, definitely. You know, coming into this, I was on the bubble to make the Classic. Next year's Classic is in Knoxville, Tennessee, my old hometown. So I really wanted to get into that. Um, I knew I needed to have probably about a top 30 finish. So hopefully uh, there's a lot more guys to weigh in. But I'm going to be on pins and needles until the end of the weigh in. But hopefully I'll be in that classic. Um, super, super excited about just another good showing here. Like I said before, I love the Mississippi River. I always catch him on a frog, and uh, I find a flipping bite here too. But it's just, uh, it's so much fun. You can just come up here and power fish and just catch so many numbers of fish. But uh, appreciate everybody that came out. Y'all are awesome. I uh, can't wait to come back. And uh, I just want to say hi to my wife and baby boy, and uh, I'll be home soon. Get home to that family. Always great having you here. He's a Bassmaster Open winner, a three-time classic qualifier from Kentucky, a man more slick than an ugly stick, Matt Robertson. 25 pounds, 14 ounces to start the day. Five fish for Matt Robertson here today. 13 pounds, 6 ounces, gives him 39 pounds, 4 ounces. He moves into 17th place currently. Hold him high and get loud for Matt Robertson. So, Matt, that is going to call an end to your 2022 Bassmaster Elite Series season. But, man, a great season you've had, uh, you know, uh, Made a top 10 last week in South Dakota. Another good one here this week and heading back to the Bassmaster Classic. Yeah, you know, we started out a little bit slow, but uh, but we sure finished her strong. Um, yeah, man, I'm just, I'm trying to, I wanted to go out there today and stay in the top 10 in points. And uh, yeah, man, if, uh, if I wasn't fighting for that top 10, I don't know, man, I got in pretty late last night. I don't know how hard I'd have went after it today. But, uh, yeah. what, what time did you get in? About 1.45. And what, what time did you have to get up to show up to work today? I don't know. I got a, well, the boy, Seth and him woke me up about 5 o'clock. So, I mean, a solid three hours sleep. I was pretty much good to go. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, forgot my lucky hair tie in the truck. Had to run up there and get that. And uh, a lot of people give me crap about throwing a mullet in a, in a man bun. Or I like to call it a mun. It's like a mullet bun, but whatever. A, uh, a mun? A mun. It's it's like a mullet and a bun. So. Gotcha. But uh, but man, a lot of you, a lot of y'all don't realize whenever you got something looks this good, you got to protect the goods running down the lake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, it's looking good, and you've protected all year long. Can't wait to see you at the Bassmaster Classic. Speaking of the Classic, let's bring up the back-to-back -back Bassmaster Classic champion from Maiden, North Carolina, Hank Cherry. 26 pounds and an ounce to start the day. Five fish to add to that here today. Currently in 27th place.
26 pounds in an ounce as of this morning. Five to add to that here on day number three. 11 pounds, five ounces. Moves him into 22nd place with 37 pounds and six ounces for the four-time Bassmaster winner, Lacrosse, Wisconsin. Let's hear it for him. We may have a brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass. It needs to be better than three pounds, 13 ounces. Looking for something bigger than three pounds, 13 ounces. It is three pounds, 14 ounces. A brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass later for the day. And uh, a high note to finish off the season here, and I know you're looking forward to some downtime with the family. Oh, yeah, this was an uncharacteristically bad year for me. It got me today, too. The key to my whole year was bad execution. You know, after Santee, we had to get New Jersey with these patches, and this is the first time this came out of the wrapper. That's how bad my year sucked. I mean, it has been bad, but it could always be worse. I can't complain. My last two years were unbelievable. Um, you know, but one time today, I I've won a couple pretty big tournaments, you know, and, and and today I got so tore up when I got on this one school of big fish. I caught that one. I lost one a little bigger than that one. I had a couple just slip-ups, things that don't happen, but it just the year. I just looked up and said, all right, I understand. So uh, it's one of those things. Thank you guys for coming out. This is wonderful. It's awesome way on the baseball field. This place is chock full of fish. It's always treated, treated me well every time I've came here. I uh, hope we come back soon. This is my kind of fishing. I don't have to get out and bounce around the waves. I can hide around. People are friendly, come up and saying, hey. So it was a great time. No snakes. Great day. Great day, and always great to have you here. A two-time Elite Series champion from Greenwood, South Carolina, the C-O-double-B, Brandon Cobb. 25 pounds, 15 ounces to start the day. Five fish to add to that here today. Looks like a good day. 14 pounds, 6 ounces. He moves into 12th place with 40 pounds and 5 ounces. Get loud for the two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion, the C-O-double-B, Brandon Cobb. Forty pounds, five ounces. So a decent tournament. Going to be a little short of the cut, but uh, man, you got to be happy with this one to finish the season. Oh yeah, absolutely. The goal coming into this tournament, obviously, you always want to make a top ten. Was just do well enough, make the classic. This will be my fourth consecutive classic, so uh, that's always the goal at the start of the year. And you got to finish strong, just just like the start of the season. Every tournament is just as important as the last. So. Really happy with the way this one went. Caught a ton of fish all week. I mean, it was, uh, this is my style of fish, and I love this. If we could have every tournament on a river like this, I would be ecstatic because this is what I love to do. But uh, ca caught, I, I don't know how many I caught today, but at least 40, 50. So it was uh, a lot of fun. A little far getting home, I'm getting my 10 boat out and go catch them in the rivers at home now. I'm addicted. I got to go do it some more. Well, we wish you a great off season. We look forward to seeing you the Bassmaster Classic. Let's hear it for them. Another classic qualifier. He's a Bassmaster Open winner from Tennessee, Scholar Hamilton. Scholar Hamilton had 24 pounds and an ounce. Five fish to add to that here today. Twenty-four-one. As of this morning, five to add to that here today. Five fish for 13 pounds, 14 ounces, gives him 37 pounds, 15 ounces, and he moves into 22nd place currently. Let's hear it for Team Yamaha, Skylar Hamilton. Thirty-seven pounds, fifteen ounces. Going to call it close to your season, but uh, a decent weight here and a, a good event to finish the season on. Yeah, it's been an up and down year for me this year. You know, had some rough events at the beginning of the year and had some good ones, but uh, 
man, you can't ask for much more other than to make the final day. And I just I gave it everything I had this week, trying to trying to win a little bit of money. I'm getting married soon, so I had, uh, had that pressure going for me. And uh, it costs a little bit of money to get married these days, so I had to had to had to make a few checks this you know the past couple of weeks and and got that goal accomplished. But got to thank all my great sponsors this year. Uh, I know it's been tough, probably for. Some of the, the worst tournaments that I've had, but uh, everybody's always stuck behind me and supported me, and my family's done the same. They've always been there for me no matter what I needed or wherever I'm at. If I need something, they get it there. But love you guys, and uh, we're going to be home soon, and hopefully we can uh, keep the momentum going for, for future events. Great to have you here, and we look forward to seeing you next season. A two-time Bassmaster winner from Fort Worth, Texas, the Zal Dangerous one, Chris Zaldane. Chris Saldane with 25 pounds, 3 ounces, another great season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Five fish to add to that here today. Had 25 pounds, 3 ounces as of day number two. Day three, semifinal Sunday, and a very rare championship Monday this time around. And yes, there is a child totally passed out in front of the stage. I've tried to ignore it, but it is, does stand out. Means nothing to our online viewers, but everybody up front here. Oh, I think we've made him uncomfortable. He's actually sitting up now. 10 pounds, 4 ounces. Gives him 35 pounds, 7 ounces. I tried to ignore him, but it's kind of hard to ignore. A child totally passed out there. But you didn't do much laying down this season. Another great season on the Elite Series. Yeah, no, it's been a, an excellent year. Um, you know, we kind of started out average, you know, making making cuts, you know, first, second, third tournament. We really turned it on mid-season, and then later on here we're just making cuts. So I think I'll finish 10th overall in points, uh, the Progressive AOI points. Thank you to Progressive, by the way, for paying out whatever million dollars it is, you know, and, and uh that's just great for them to step up and give us that, that AOI bonus for the end of the year. But um, I just really want to thank Bass, Bass staff. I really want to thank the service crew that follows us all the way around the country. I mean, each and every individual, each and every boat sponsor, the outboard guys, the, the boat, the, you know, the uh, Minn Kota, Humminbird, all those guys follow us around to make sure we're, we're out there and we're competing. And speaking of service, thank you. Thank you. To all the servicemen and women throughout this awesome country for fighting for our country and allowing us to do this right here, chase our dream. Really appreciate it. And above all, thank you to my wife, Trait. She, uh, everyone talks about, you know, life as a professional bass fisherman, the late nights, the early mornings. It is tough being a professional bass fisherman. I've been doing this 10 years, and my wife, Trait, she stands by my side each and every week. So thank you, Trait. You're awesome. Love you. This is a great crowd. It's been a great year. Thank you, Dave. See you next year. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. But before you go anywhere, I've asked some anglers about the off season and what they got planned, but I know you mentioned Trait. I know you and Trait have big plans for something you're about to launch you want to talk about it yeah that's what I, you know when i'm out on the water competing there she's working hard on our podcast you know we're launching a new podcast here sp sponsored by battleborn batteries uh got a lot of heavy hitters uh you know scheduled to show up on the podcast on youtube there so when we're not competing here we'll uh we'll, we'll try to pump out as much youtube content as possible make sure you guys follow along chris zaldane and trade zaldane i appreciate it guys thank you very much we'll be following along He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Corbin, Kentucky. Get loud for Mike Huff. 25 pounds and 7 ounces to start the day today. Five fish to add to that to finish off the 2022 Bassmaster Elite Series campaign. Remind everybody, we'll bring out our top 10 at the end of this way, and, and the final two anglers to weigh in will be our final two in Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. So make sure to stick around. 11 pounds, 4 ounces. Gives him 36 pounds, 11 ounces. You move into 26th place. Going to call an end to this season. But uh, you made it here to day three. Never a bad thing when you're fishing day three. I had a, like, this was the most fun day. Caught a bunch of fish. You know, I didn't have a great weight. But my wife is due in, like, three days. And it was just like, I was so happy just fishing today. Thinking I'm going to have a little boy to fish with here in you know, less than a week. So 
Really exciting. That's the greatest gift you'll ever experience, and I uh, wish you luck with that, and we look forward to seeing you back on the Bassmaster Elite Series, a two-time classic qualifier from Del Rio, Texas, Ray Hanselman, Jr. R Ray Hanselman started the day with 26 pounds and 5 ounces. Five fish to add to that here today. Needs... 15 pounds, 10 ounces to get inside the cut. He's got five fish here today. Sixteen pounds, two ounces. Inside the cut with 42 pounds, seven ounces. And Ray Hanselman Jr. may be sticking around with us on Championship Monday. Get loud for Ray Hanselman Jr. 16-2, giving him a total of 42 pounds, 7 ounces inside the top 10 in 10th place currently. So you got to hope it's enough to stay there. But regardless, man, you made a charge here at the end and uh, going to finish this season at Fish tomorrow or finish this season on a high note? Yeah, definitely. You know, I wanted to go out and just crack him again, and I did. It was, it was another 70, 80 fish day. It's amazing. Three days, uh, rotating three one-cast spots, like that big, and... There's not many places where you can catch 250 plus fish in three days on a top water. And it's just unbelievable. You know, a lot of them are pound to two pounds, but I weeded out enough of those smaller ones to where I could, uh, you know, I caught some of those bigger fish that they, they got, were able to get to that bait because it was a dog fight, you know. Today was the only day I didn't get a double. <laughs> but uh, I just want to thank everybody, you know, the Lord for giving me the ability and uh, these places we can go to and my family back at home my wife my boys and uh this is an amazing place and y'all take care of it and i want to thank bullseye services skeeter and yamaha power tackle rods viva energy i mean it they they are the ones that bring us here great to have you here we'll find out if you get inside top 10 at the end of our way and all the way from osaka japan a bassmaster open winner and classic qualifier kenta kamira Kenta Kamira had 24 pounds and 6 ounces. Five fish here today. 11 pounds, 10 ounces. Gives him 36 pounds even, and he moves into 28th place currently. Little known fact, this is actually Kenta Kamira performing his weigh-in song. Kenta, is that true? Is this you singing this song? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my friend actually picked it. So I don't know what did he really say. So, so it's it's not you singing it? No. 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 Could you sing it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I have to next year. <laughs> next year. Tell me about your season this year. Oh, I had a great year. You know, I mean, I had a little tough day today. I missed every single small mass bite on the, on the top but you know I guess that's kind of deal I was playing and I really can't complain about it because I had a really great year and made a seven cuts out of nine even so that's a great year. Great year indeed an open win and always great to have you here. He's a former lacrosse logger ladies and gentlemen a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Georgia Mark Frazier. Another great season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Had 23 pounds, 15 ounces to start the day. Five fish here today. Very, very lively fish. All these lively fish going to go for a ride in our Yamaha Avco Live Release Boats want to thank them for their support all year long, making sure the fish get back in the water for you guys to catch for years and years to come. At 23 pounds, 15 ounces. Five fish here today. 12 pounds, 9 ounces. Gives him 36 pounds, 8 ounces. And puts him in 28th place currently. Another great season for Mark Fraser on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Woo! 
Mark, uh, you know, we've kind of talked about it, uh, but when you were, whenever you were standing out there playing baseball here, did you ever imagine one day I'm going to be an Elite Series pro and I'm going to weigh in right here? No, I didn't. You know, I had I had one goal in my mind is I'd make, make a living playing baseball. So, man, God has a, you know, just a magical way of doing things. You know, it's, uh, I ended up getting hurt and he, he transformed into, you know, fishing. So it's just... It, this is what I, I enjoy, and, and, you know, I didn't really understand the, the process at the time, but, man, I'm here now, and, and I'm having a good time. I had a good year. I'm, I'm real happy with that. I, you know, qualify for the Classic again, so very fortunate, and, uh, yeah, I'm switching gears to hunting season now. So, so that's the plan for the off season. a lot of hunting? Yeah, duck hunt, deer hunt, enjoy my family, so... Sounds like a plan. Great Elite Series career. First two seasons and two classic qualifications. A Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Derek Hudnall. Derek Hudnall had 23 pounds, 11 ounces. There is now multiple children passed out on the turf in front of our way in. 10 pounds, 11 ounces, gives him 34 pounds and 6 ounces. You move into 31st place, and, uh, man, you get to finish off the season in front of this great crowd here in La Crosse, Wisconsin, and, man, we're living a dream here being part of this. I'll tell you what we are, man. This, these are the moments right here that make it worthwhile. You know, you have a bad tournament, a bad season, and you walk out on stage, and you see the crowds like this and in in just a beautiful place like this. It all makes it worthwhile, you know. At the end of the day, we are blessed to be able to do what we do for a living. And, and what you don't realize is you guys are the reason that we get to do this. Because you guys come out, y'all support us, y'all watch us online, y'all follow our social media channels. That's what just makes it all worthwhile. But, but yeah, and the support that we get, this season's been awesome. I mean, from St. Croix right here in Park Falls, Wisconsin, uh, those guys have just treated me like family for four years now, and Skeeter and Yamaha, Missile Bait, Spro, Gamagatsu, and I could just keep going down the list. Power Pole, they got a booth here. Make sure to go tell them guys hello. But a uh, great season, but I am tired, and I really miss my family. I mean, we, we are on the road a lot. We're away from our family um, a lot. So, you know, when your little girl starts calling you and your family and, and my beautiful wife, Annie, that's, that's watching and calling, saying, I miss you. I, I'm ready for you to come home. That's what makes it worthwhile, too. So we got a long off season. See you guys in 2023. And thank you, Wisconsin. You guys are awesome. Get home safe and enjoy that family. He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Raceland, Louisiana, Tyler Rivette. <laughs> Tyler Rivette had 23 pounds and 9 ounces. A good day here today. 23 9 to start today. Five fish, 13 pounds, 4 ounces. Gives him 36 pounds and 13 ounces. And Tyler Rivette moves into 26th place currently. Another good day on the Bassmaster Elite Series for Tyler Rivette. Thirty-six pounds, thirteen ounces, and uh, as I just said, another great day in the Elite Series. You got to be happy with the way your career is uh, shaping up here. I hope it keeps going like this because this is probably the best year ever. Uh, it just happened. Everything just happened perfectly. Uh, I was blessed with just great opportunities and great fish catching, and I really cannot think of any fish that I really lost this year that really cost me a lot. And that's. That's the big difference here on the Elite Series. If you lose that fish, it'll cost you a whole check or a tournament. So I've just been great this year, and I've learned a lot new, a lot of new things, like Garmin with the live scope. I'm a shallow fisherman, and I'm addicted to that live scope now. This is actually the first week I don't use it any tournament. So it's a, it's a great tool. I'm glad I could do both now. And uh, I just want to thank everybody. It's a great year. Uh, Walk-ons, Excite, Six Skill, Garmin, Power Pole, just uh, I mean, I, I'm just pumped to be back in the Classic. I, it, it's so hard to get there, and yeah, like I said, everything just fell into place this year, so hopefully I could do it again. You've worked hard. Great to see it paying off. <laughs> a Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a former Elite Series Rookie of the Year from North Carolina, Jake Whitaker. 24 pounds and 7 ounces for Jake Whitaker to start the day. Five fish to add to that here today. Looks like a good day at the office for Jake Whitaker. 
14 pounds, 13 ounces. He moves into 19th place with 39 pounds and 4 ounces. Get loud for Team Mercury's Jake Whitaker. 39 pounds, 4 ounces, sitting in 19th place. That's going to call an end to your Elite Series uh, season this year. But I know you've got more important <laughs> business to take care of at home. Yeah, we've got some bigger plans uh, to handle whenever I get home. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a fun ride back. Just you know, anticipating you know meeting my little girl and and you know seeing my wife after it's, it's been gone. I feel like it's I've been gone for a whole month, but it's only been two weeks. And she's been a trooper man this whole year. She's uh, you know she's not had the easiest pregnancy, but uh, you know she has you know been a backbone for me when I've you know not been doing so well here, but. Uh, you know, without without my support crew, my family, my wife, uh, I couldn't do this. And uh, you know, that that goes for my for my sponsors as well: Phoenix Mercury, ALX Rods, uh, Rely on Lithium Batteries, Big Bite Baits, and everybody that that helps me. You know, to be here has been a huge help this year, and uh, I'm ready to ready to become a dad. It'll be the greatest celebration of your life. Enjoy it, my friend. Get home safe. Our next angler from Wisconsin, get loud for Elite Series champion, Caleb Kufal. 25 pounds, 14 ounces to start the day. Five fish for Caleb Kufal here today. 13 pounds, 9 ounces, gives him 39 pounds, 7 ounces. Caleb Kufal moves into 19th place currently. Digging deep in that VMC weigh-in bag. Get loud for Wisconsin's Caleb Kufal. <laughs> 39 pounds, 7 ounces, and uh, you get to finish the season in your home state here in front of an incredible crowd here in La Crosse. you got to be happy about that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's been an incredible year. You know, this is it for me. Um, you know, made the Bass Bastards Classic. You know, that was the big goal coming into this one. Uh, you know, it's just been a it's been a really fun year. But uh, this this week, you know, this is my home, uh, kind of my home playing ground here. This is kind of where I got my start. Um, you know, fishing BFLs over the years and stuff. And uh, you know, always want to do better here. But uh, you know, the big fish eluded me this week. Uh, you know, just uh, just happy to be here. I gotta say thanks to all my sponsors uh, for supporting me this year. Uh, all my friends and family that came out this week. Uh, just I really appreciate it. Great season. Member of the Century Club. Look forward to seeing you at the Bassmaster Classic. Our next angler, a Bassmaster Open winner. Made over a million dollars casting for bass from Florida, Kobe Krieger. 25 pounds, 15 ounces to start the day. Five fish to add to that today. Twenty-five, fifteen. as of this morning. Five here today. Semi-final Sunday. 14 pounds, 7 ounces. He moves into 12th place with 40 pounds and 6 ounces. Want to remind everybody, we'll be bringing out our top 10 at the very end of our way. And then the final two anglers to weigh in today will be the top two in progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. So lots to celebrate here. So stick with us, lacrosse. 40 pounds, 6 ounces, just short of the top 10, Kobe, but, uh, you know, a great way to finish this season. Yeah, yesterday really messed me up, uh, only catching 11 pounds, but, hey, I want to I wanna thank all the Bass staff. You guys do an amazing job. I want to thank all the fans from here, from the first tournament at St. John's River in my home state of Florida throughout the whole year. It's, it's been amazing. The service crew. Uh, my wife, my sponsors, um, without all those people, you know, we, we do a really good job at tearing stuff up and the service crew puts it back, you know, puts it back together. Even if they don't have the, the right parts, they uh, manage somehow to keep everybody on the water. Um, Tim Price from uh, Hummingbird, Minn Kota, and Talon, uh, without my Alltrex trolling motor and my spot lock, and uh, I'm learning how to use my Mega Live. Even caught some fish on that this year and uh, hope to get a little bit better at it next year. And uh, just thank everybody. I'm glad I've had a good finish at the end of the year, and uh, maybe good things come for next year. Thanks again, and uh, enjoy what you're about ready to see tomorrow and the rest of the day. It's going to be exciting. Always great to have you here. 
from Blue Ash, Ohio. He is an Elite Series rookie, Alex Redwine. 25 pounds, 13 ounces to start the day. Five fish here today. 25, 13 as of this morning. Five here on day number three, semifinal Sunday here in beautiful La Crosse, Wisconsin. 14 pounds, 15 ounces, just short of the top 10 in 12th place with 40 pounds and 12 ounces. Forty pounds, twelve ounces, and uh, I finishing the season off on a high note. And um, I heard, you know, obviously, yesterday was your birthday, and your roommate won Rookie of the Year. And I heard you guys went out partying last night on an epic rager. Oh, for sure. We walked into this Mexican restaurant, we ate our food, and we walked out. That's about as crazy as it'll be. Um, but this season has been super cool, hanging out with Jay this year. Um, just bonding with him and watching him have unbelievable success. Um, this year has kind of been full of lows and highs. Sometimes it feels like more lows than there are highs. Uh, super excited to end this season with a little bit of momentum. Uh, three cuts in a row, so that feels pretty good. Um, it's kind of just cool to reminisce on the season, look back at February and how much I've, how much experience I've had and how many cool people I've met on all the anglers and the bass staff. Um, but it's also like i got to give a huge shout-out to the people that support me. Uh, coming into the elites at 22 years old, it's really hard to, to make yourself marketable, being that young, being that new. But there's a lot of great people that help me out. i got tons of family and friends back home that, that help me out and support me, and I'm super excited to kind of hopefully bring this momentum to next year. And kind of, I want to be like Jay, honestly. That's, I want to be like Jay. <laughs> but it's been a blast, and thanks, everyone, for coming out and everybody watching back home. It means a lot. Great having you on the Elite Series. He is a Bassmaster Open winner. He's a classic qualifier from Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Oh, Bob Downey! 25 pounds, 12 ounces to start the day. He's got five fish here today. Looking to keep moving up that leaderboard. 25-12 as of this morning, 15-1 today, moves him into 12th place with 40 pounds and 13 ounces. Let me hear it for old Bob Downey. Dude, I mean, I've said to a lot of anglers, way to finish this season on a high note. But, man, to finish this season with your support system and the amount of noise that has been made for you in these last few events, I mean, it's something special and something rare. Not a lot of anglers get to experience that. Yeah, it's been really special the last couple of weeks. And to have a strong finish at Oahe and here, you know, close to home on the river, um, I really couldn't ask for more. It's it's been a really good deal. I, I stumbled a little bit day one, but had a good uh, last couple days. Excited to finish the season strong and qualify for my second classic, so I'm pretty fired up to get back to Knoxville next year. That'll be a good tournament. I think we're going to be there at the right time of year. Um, just want to say thanks to all my sponsors, my friends, my family, uh, most importantly, my wife for all of her support this year. Um, it's just been an unwavering support uh, the last three years in this journey to get here and get back to the Classic. And we all work really hard and uh, really uh, scratched and clawed to get there this year, uh, get back there next year. So I'm really excited about Knoxville and uh, can't ask for a better place to finish the season here in the Midwest on the Mississippi River. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. We'll see you all next year. Congrats on a great one. He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He's qualified for two of them from Alabama. He is Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. 25 pounds and 9 ounces to start the day. Five fish to add to that here today. Twelve pounds, nine ounces. Gives him 38 pounds and two ounces. He moves into 28th place. Let's hear it for Kyle Welcher. Kyle, I know this season was your toughest season on the Elite Series yet, but up to this point, I mean, there hasn't been too many tough events, but I know you're looking forward to kind of 
taking a little time away, right in the ship, and coming back swinging again next year. Yeah, d definitely. I have a, I have some stuff I have to work on to go going into next year. Just be a little more consistent. You know, my first two years, I was extremely blessed, and as and my entire career on the elites as a whole has been very good. You know, I can't complain. But this year, I did have a tough one. I'm glad we got to have some good momentum going to the off season. So hopefully next year we can, you know, right the ship and get back in it. Because I really want to fish the classic. I came into this tournament trying to win like i really wanted to win this one because if you win this one you get to go to the classic so i'm going to be really not happy having to work the classic th this year and not be able to fish it but hey maybe in, in the next year we'll, we'll make it back so that's how it goes i'm looking forward to seeing you back here next year and i know it'll be a good one he's a five-time bassmaster classic qualifier a bassmaster open winner from holt michigan chad pipkins 24 pounds and 12 ounces to start the day. He's got five fish. Fourteen pounds, eleven ounces, with thirty-nine pounds, seven ounces. Chad Pipkins moves into twenty-second place currently. Thirty-nine pounds and seven ounces. Puts him in 22nd place. We're going to weigh that one for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Needs to be better than 314. Four pounds even. A brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass. And uh, a great way to finish the season, man. And I know you uh, you got a family that you want to get home to and uh, enjoy a little bit of time in the off season. For sure. I'd love to stay here and celebrate and drink some beer with you guys. But we're going to get rolling today. It's been a uh, really good end of the season. I was on the bubble to make the classic and had fortune to have a couple good events. And this is a fun place to fish. There's some giants out there. They're a little uh, specific. That big one I caught, just, I could see them on my live, and I threw a dang weightless wacky worm out in the middle of nowhere and just kind of waited. I don't know, only took one cast, but I caught that four-pounder. That, that fish like that makes a difference here, and it's just, it's a blast, man. I hope we come back. There's giant smallmouth, giant largemouth, and you guys are in a, in a pretty good spot. So hopefully we'll be here again. And uh, i got to thank my friends and family for supporting me. My wife's at home with my crazy two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Emery, who's watching. Hi, daddy's coming home, and a three-week-old baby who is getting big while I'm gone. So look forward to coming back to you guys. And uh, we're going to Bassmaster Classic again. Appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll be back. Look forward to seeing you at the Classic. A former Bassmaster Classic champion, a former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Pitts Grove, New Jersey, go Ike for Mike Iconelli. 24 pounds and 4 ounces as of this morning. Five fish for Mike Iconelli here today. Twelve pounds, thirteen ounces here on day number three. Gives him thirty-seven pounds and an ounce. And Mike Iconelli moves into thirty-third place currently. Going to weigh that one for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Needs to be better than four pounds to take that away from Chad Pipkins for the day. Four pounds, two ounces. So I can tell you finish off the season on a bit of a high note on an uncharacteristically tough season for you here this year. It was tough. It's fishing. You know, you look back on it and try to pinpoint something, but I didn't change anything. It's just fishing. So, you know, life and fishing's like that. It's like a roller coaster. You've got to go through the downs and get back to the ups, and that's what I'm going to do. I've got one left next week. It's a Northern Open, but this is the last term of the year. I want to thank my sponsors. Uh, I've got a great crew with me, especially Toyota. They do a lot for the sport. Also want to thank the fans, man. Uh, I've had a great fan base my whole career. Uh, I'm toward the end of it. You know, I've got, a, I've got a few years left, but I appreciate the fan support I've had. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Before you leave, I got to check on, on, you were selling the Vegas the Hammer hats yeah. yesterday. Did, did you sell some Vegas the Hammer hats? And if you would like to buy a Vegas the Hammer hat, how, how would they go about and do that for the future Bassmaster Elite Series Pro? Yeah, my, son, my son's got his own hats and clothing and everything already, but go to MikeGuyCanelli.com. But honestly, uh, if you want to help grow the sport, get kids fishing. That's the key. Get kids fishing. Start them young. I don't care if they, they're in a city. Get them fishing. Get them to try it. Uh, we have a foundation called the Ike Foundation. Go over there and look at it. It's the IkeFoundation.org. Our mission is to get kids fishing. That's how you grow the sport. Great work that you do for the sport in so many ways. Thank you. He's an Elite Series a rookie, a former Strike King College Bass Champion from Ava, Missouri, Cody Huff.
Started the day with 24 pounds and 10 ounces. A second place finish in our Falcon Rods Rookie of the Year race. A great rookie season for Cody Huff. Five fish here today. 12 pounds, 7 ounces. Gives you 37 pounds and an ounce. You move into 34th place currently. And they're going to call an end to your uh, rookie season. But, man, started a little rougher than you would have liked. But, man, you righted the ship. And a second place finish in the rookie of the year race is uh, nothing to be ashamed of. No, it's not, man. I had a good year. We made the Classic. That's what I was worried about. So, man, I'm just excited. I just want to say a big thank you to all my sponsors, Bass Pro Shops, and the whole crew that takes care of me all year long. And uh, just I'll be say hi to my family. I'm headed home to see them right now. We're going to put some miles on. And big thanks to everybody for coming out. We love to see you, and maybe we'll get to see you again soon. Safe travels. Look forward to seeing the Classic. A two-time Elite Series champion, a former Bass Nation national champion from Connecticut, Paul Mueller. Had 24 pounds even to start the day. He's got five fish here today. Looks like a good day here on the Mississippi River in beautiful La Crosse, Wisconsin. 15 pounds, 15 ounces with 39 pounds, 15 ounces. Paul Mueller moves into 19th place currently with just a few anglers left to weigh in. I want to remind everybody, our last two anglers are going to be the leaders in progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points, and then we'll bring in our top 10 for Sunday. Unfortunately, you're not going to be part of the top or for Monday. No, you were, oh, you were part of Sunday, but unfortunately, you're not going to be part of the top ten this time around. But uh, finishing it on a high note, this one. Yeah, for sure. I would have loved to fish tomorrow. I had I had so much fun today. I don't know how many fish I caught. I was catching two at a time, and and I can't even. I've caught actually caught two smallmouth at a, two, two at a time. Yeah, two times, two fish on one bait, two times in a day. Today. Have you ever done that? No. I've done that like twice in my life. I did it twice today, so that's pretty good. Why does that happen so much here? We've seen that happen with a bunch of anglers. Just the way the current tightens the fish together, or they group them up? Yeah, so what happened today is I was fishing an area that, uh, you know, the water level came up a little bit. It, di it got dirty, and I found this current break. I I've been looking at it. I drove by it yesterday, and I'm like, man, I'm going to fish it tomorrow if I have time. And I pulled up. And it was just a little bit, like a little bar off a weed bed. And, dude, there were so many smallmouth on that. I look at the live scope, and there's just fish all over, like, wherever there was rock. And I caught them. I think my uh, marshal said I caught them 20 consecutive casts. I was like, this is a cat. And I was just saying, where could I throw where I don't get a bite? So that's a good day, you know. I mean, I would have loved to catch some, you know, bigger fish uh, yesterday or the day before. And I felt like I could have. But, uh, man, I hope we come back. This was a lot of fun. I think if we came back when it was a little bit colder... You'd really see what lived in here as far as brown, brown fish. And that's what I went for. I caught brown fish all three days, which is hard to do here. And uh, just didn't get the bigger bites. They're skinny, too. I mean, those fish should be about, you know, close to four pounds once they put the, the feed bag on. And they were just skinny. So a little bit later when they're feeding, man, it would be a lot of fun. But thanks for coming out, man. I got I to gotta give a shout-out to my sponsors that helped me this year. I ran a Camus CX-21 with a Mercury. Uh, the other thing new this year for me was X2 batteries, man. I mean, I put, I abuse my batteries, especially when we go on the northern swing, Oahe and places like this, long days, and man, I, I hammer on my batteries, and, and they're flawless. So the rest of my sponsors that helped me here, I'm, I'm just thankful and uh, very blessed to do this. My eighth season. Didn't have a great start to the year, but finished good. I'm looking forward to next year, and uh, I hope we come back here on the schedule soon. Always great to have you here. Have a great off season. Last year's Falcon Rod Rookie of the Year from Alabama, Josh Strasner. 23 pounds and 12 ounces to start the day today. Five fish going to finish off his season here in beautiful Lacrosse, Wisconsin. We're going to thank once again ExploreLacrosse.com. 13 pounds, 6 ounces gives him 37 pounds and 2 ounces. And Josh Strachner moves into 34th place currently. Get loud for Josh Strachner. Oh boy, we may have a brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Needs to be better than 4 pounds, 2 ounces. Five pounds and an ounce 
Hey, brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass, and the bad news is you might not get a Christmas card from Mike I can only, but the good news is you take over Phoenix Boats Big Bass and finish this season on a high note. I tell you, it's, I've, I've struggled all year long from, from the get-go. I had a lot of stuff go wrong. You know, finally, in you know, in the season on a little bit of a good note, catch a big bass here on the Mississippi River, man, it just makes everything go a little bit smoother, you know. Uh, hopefully next year everything go better. Uh, I, I promise you I'll be counting down the days and ready to get started fresh. We're looking forward to seeing you back here. Big part of the Bassmaster Elite Series. Have a great off season. Let's bring out your day one leader, a former Bassmaster Open winner and Elite Series champion from Maryland, Brian Schmidt. 31 pounds and 13 ounces to start the day. He's looking for 15-1 to take the lead back. Five fish here on day number three, semifinal Sunday. Needs 15-1 to take the lead. 10-10 to get inside the cut. 14 pounds, 12 ounces. He is five ounces short of the overall lead with 46 pounds, nine ounces. Brian Schmidt moves into second place currently. Get loud for Ranger Mercury Pro, Brian Schmidt. Forty-six pounds and nine ounces sitting in second place. Five ounces short of the overall lead. And man, tomorrow is going to be a throwdown. It is going to be an incredible day. And I mean, there's no game plan, and it's just bringing in the five biggest fish you can. And it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. It is. You know, today was a little trying day. We stumbled onto something really late. I actually had a dead fish in there. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. But uh, you know. We're, we're in position, man. Anytime you could go in the final day in position, you know, we got a chance to win this thing. We're going to do everything in our power to win it. We're going to focus into an area that I caught all this weight today in a pretty quick, quick order, you know, and hopefully expand on it. You know, but the biggest thing is, man, we dug ourselves out of a hole. I think this punched my ticket to the Classic. I was in bad shape going into Hawaii, so the pressure's off, man. Now, tomorrow, we're just going to swing for the fence. But I hope my wife's watching. Babe, I love you. I'll be home as soon as I'm done. Great to have you here. We look forward to seeing you in our top ten intros. With that, we have three anglers left to weigh in here. We have a tournament to decide, see who gets in our top ten. But we have our progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year race that started 199 days ago in Palatka, Florida. These three anglers are the top three in Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. And if you look at Angler of the Year, one of the big travesties of this sport is somebody wins this title, and then people forget about the guys who were close. It is literally one bite throughout the entire season that this comes down to. So let's celebrate the top three in Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. And the first one we're bringing through in third place in Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. The first Canadian ever to win an Elite Series event from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, Chris Johnson. Chris Johnson started the day with 31 pounds, 14 ounces. He's looking for 15 even to take over the lead. And... Needs 15 pounds even. 16 pounds, 12 ounces with 48 pounds, 10 ounces. Ranger Mercury Pro Chris Johnson is leading this tournament and five fish away from his second Bassmaster Elite Series title. Boom shakalaka, ch -ch 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 giant bass. 48 pounds and 10 ounces. Going to weigh that for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Got to be better than 5-1 to take that away from Josh Strachner. 4-7, not going to do that. But you are leading this tournament five fish away from becoming a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. And, uh, man, how good are you feeling right now? I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good, but I wish I knew where I was going to catch those five bass tomorrow. It's uh, it's stressful out there, and the way I'm catching them, it uh, it adds a lot of gray hairs to you. Some some eat it, and some just like to give it a little kiss, and uh, they're just 
they're nipping at your frog, and then you get one that's suicidal and just tries to swallow it in one bite and kill it. So <laughs> I'm just hoping they won't eat my frog tomorrow. Um, I got a couple other deals, but I, I need a couple big bites on a frog, and uh, I'm having fun out there. If it's meant to be, it'll happen tomorrow. Watching you fish, a lot of people want to paint you as a smallmouth bass angler, but those people don't watch bass live. I mean, you catch them everywhere we go, but watching you fish, it literally looks like you are fishing a lot of the lakes that you grew up fishing on the Trent Severn Waterway. Yeah, where I'm from, Ontario, the core of the lakes, it looks just like here. Um, within 20 minutes of my house, there's probably 10 lakes, and they all look like this, uh, full of reeds, grass, um, frogging, flipping, milfoil, um, usually using 65-pound uh, test, and uh, it's, it's just like home here. So, uh, like I said, I'm having fun, and uh, hopefully I can sneak one out uh, for everyone back home, and it'll look like I'm fishing on, like, Sturgeon Lake, <laughs> something you're very familiar with. Would love to see you take that title. Don't go anywhere. You're going to be joining our top ten when we introduce you. Get backstage, and we'll keep them rolling. Going out this morning in second place in Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. Two victories this year. One in the Opens, one in the Elite Series. From Fayetteville, Tennessee, the always lethal Brandon Lester. 28 pounds and 6 ounces for Brandon Lester. He's got five fish here today. Needs 14-6 to get inside the cut and keep his tournament alive. 14 pounds, 9 ounces, 14-9. He's sitting in 10th place with 42 pounds and 15 ounces. Brandon, what a season you have had this year. I mean, you kicked it off with a win in the Opens and a guaranteed berth to the Bassmaster Classic. And I remember listening to you talking about the freedom that it would give you to fish this season. But, man, you lived up to that, and uh, it's come right down to the wire here, and your season isn't even over yet. Wow. Man, I'm just glad I get to go fishing one more day. What an awesome place to uh to finish off the season right here you know i've been catching 30 40 fish a day I honestly i am shocked by that weight i thought i had like maybe 13 maybe 13 and a half i, I didn't think i had that much but i don't weigh my fish i just throw them in there um man i'm just glad i get to go one more day another day and another shot at a another title to finish the season Brandon Polnick came in here as the only angler in control of his own destiny and we'll see how that works out in a minute but uh Man, no matter how tomorrow works out, this season has to be the greatest season of your career, which has been incredibly blessed since day number one. Yeah, definitely so. You know, this is nine years uh, that I've been out here on the Elite Series. I've made the Classic every year but one. I've, I've had a great career thus far, and those wins kind of eluded me until this year. And you, you talked about it, getting that Opens win earlier this year, man. It just, it just calmed me down, and I usually don't get worked up about tournaments and stuff, but I just go out every morning with – a piece you know knowing that i already had the classic made so that definitely helped my mindset definitely this year and uh man it's just been a blessed season no doubt an incredible season and it's been an honor to call all of these events for you let's hear it for them and then there was one a former progressive bassmaster angler of the year a six-time bassmaster winner a former bass nation national champion an 11-time classic qualifier from raftrum idaho the prodigy brandon polinick <laughs> Brandon Polnick came into this event in control of his own destiny. He needs to finish 38th or better in this event to seal the deal and become a two-time Angler of the Year. Five fish here today. Started the day with 24 pounds, 10 ounces. Today, 15 pounds and an ounce puts him in 25th place and officially makes him your 2022 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Polinick prevails and is the Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Thirty-nine pounds, eleven ounces.
chances you're sitting in 25th in this tournament and you're officially a two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. You're joining a club that only has 11 members previous to win multiple Angler of the Year titles. The Classic is the Super Bowl of bass fishing, but most anglers agree this is the most coveted title in professional bass fishing, and you've won two. Uh, I can't believe it's over. Uh, the wait the last two weeks, I have felt like Brandon Lester was the size of a Sasquatch on my shoulders. And that is just kudos to him for how good of an angler he is. He put the pressure on me. Uh, and I hated it the last two weeks, and I loved it at the same time because it made me feel alive. If I don't catch, what blows my mind is AOI was literally decided by one bass. Um, it was a culmination of all the bass, but one bass yesterday that I caught at 3.30 gave me a limit. Without that, I most likely don't win AOI. That is why you fish until the very end. Uh, I always say I've won more tournaments on my last cast than my first cast. Uh, and I'm always usually the last one to check in. Uh, and, oh, gosh. La, uh, but before the first tournament of the year, uh, I'm going to try to say this without choking up. I slapped an Aaron Martin sticker on my windshield. And, uh, there were a lot of times it got really tough this year. And I would, I would turn around and I'd look at that sticker. And I felt like he was looking back at me saying, I love you, bro. And it helped every time. Every time it got tough. Yes, this whole week I would slap that sticker. Or I'd give him knucks to say thank you for everything he's done. Thank you guys for showing up. Uh, we're just a bunch of guys fishing with our for our own money. Without all of you guys watching on Bassmaster.com, with all of you guys that showed up, without the fans, we're not a sport. So thank you guys. Um, the reason I came back to stand on this stage was because of you guys. So this one is just as much for you guys as it is for me and my family and my sponsors. So thank you. You ready to make this official? Yeah. Yeah, let's make it official. I'm, he, I'm tired of crying. <laughs> He's waited a long time to do the honors we'd like to bring up from Progressive, Scott Jurgensen, the director of agency distribution, to hand off the most coveted trophy in professional bass fishing. In 2022, the prodigy prevails and becomes the 2022 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, Brandon Polinick. 199 days ago, this season started, and now there is one. That one is a two-time Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. And Brandon, i got to ask you, how good did today feel? Yesterday it took you till the last half hour to catch your fifth fish, and today it felt like you catch, caught five fish every half hour. I, it felt so good. The last Oahe, I felt like sucked the soul out of my body. And then this week, the last two days were... The first day wasn't bad. Yesterday, and I, I said this today, I don't know if they played it live, but I felt like nothing happens by coincidence. It all happens for a reason, even if we don't see it at the time. And yesterday was a test. It was a mental test for me. And I felt like today was the reward for passing that test yesterday. Because I caught a limit in 15 minutes, had 13 pounds in the first hour, hour and a half, and was able to just enjoy the day. I didn't feel stressed. I didn't even know if I was going to win, but I just had fun catching bass again. And that's exactly why I started. So never forget that fishing is fun.
Fishing is fun, and you are truly one of the best. Joins the League of Legends. You did not do it on your own. I know your family had a lot to do with it, and here's the best part. The family's a lot bigger than the last time you held this trophy. There isn't just one prodigy. There's a baby prodigy. I got you. <laughs> Let's hear it for them, ladies and gentlemen. Team Polinick. The prodigy prevails. Brandon Polinick. Your 2022 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year! <laughs> Tiffany, I know you probably don't want me to talk to you, but I will. That's kind of my job. How nerve-wracking has this last week been? It's a better trophy. <laughs> um, Come here, baby. I would say yesterday about got me. Uh, <laughs> The messages of just not having five fish to like the last few minutes. I was like, really? I, I knew he was dramatic and fishing, but really? Because <laughs> um, I know it always doesn't work out when you, you don't always catch the fifth fish at the last second, but I don't know. I, it was truly incredible. Like the weight lifted off our shoulders after the fifth fish came in, but then it was only a one and a quarter, one pound or one and a half pounds. So you're, then you're like, well, was it enough? We have to get in that 47 or above to keep it going. And it was struggle after last week. And then yesterday, I, I'm ready to be done for the season. Well, you guys are done and nobody finishes ahead of yeah. team Polinick. Yeah. What a year. For the Polinick family, a brand new baby and his second Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year title. <laughs> Truly the king of the court this year. The prodigy prevails. Your 2022 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, Brandon Polinick. But that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. Once we get done with this little celebration, oh, their other child, Kyle. Everybody, let's hear it for Vandy Hammer. If you don't know him, you should. And you need to follow their YouTube channel because it is incredible. And man, what a celebration they are going to have tonight. But this is not all. This is one title decided, your progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. And Team Polinick has battled all year through so many things. And at the end of the day, Brandon Polinick joins a League of Legends and Team Polinick is your progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. But that's not all. In just a few minutes, we will bring out our top ten, so don't go anywhere. We'll celebrate with Brandon Polinick and also bring out our top Fishing on Championship Monday. How about that? 199 days ago, the quest for that trophy started. And now there is one. That one is a two-time Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. In 2022, the prodigy prevails. Brandon Polinick, your 2022 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. You are a great brother. So The Prodigy prevails. Brandon Polinick, your 2022 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Up, 
But that is not all, ladies and gentlemen. We still have a tournament to decide. We have given away our Falcon Rods Rookie of the Year title, our Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. But this is the final Elite Series event of 2022, the guaranteed rate Bassmaster Elite at the Mississippi River. Are you ready to meet your top 10? No, 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 no. We started with 90, 47 went out today, and only 10 remain. Are you ready? He is an eight-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Finished second place in the Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year race. What a season he has had. Not one, but two wins. One in the Opens and one in the Elite Series. From Fayetteville, Tennessee, the always lethal Brandon Lester. He is a seven-time FLW Tour winner, a former Forest Wood Cup champion, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier, unfinished family business from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. After weighing today, he's officially a 20-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a Bassmaster Open winner, a two-time Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, and check the box, his second trip to the Bassmaster Classic, all the way from North Carolina. Get loud for KJ Queen. He's a six-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a former FLW Tour Rookie of the Year, a former FLW Tour winner, a former Elite Series Rookie of the Year, a former Elite Series Champion from Georgia, Drew Benton. He had a bridesmaid finish at the Bassmaster Classic. He is a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a two-time FLW Tour winner. From Shelby, North Carolina, Team Toyota's Matt Airy. He is a former Bassmaster Open winner, a former Bassmaster Open Angler of the Year. Every tournament he has one goal and that's don't suck. He won the very first Elite Series event. He fished from North Carolina. Get loud for Brian New. He is your day one leader, a former Bassmaster Open winner, a former Elite Series champion, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Maryland, Brian Schmidt. He is an eight-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a three-time TTBC champion, a two-time Elite Series champion. With a win here, he would be in his ninth Bassmaster Classic from Huntington, Texas, Keith Combs. <laughs> He is your day three leader. He is the very first Canadian ever to win an FLW Tour event. The very first Canadian ever to win a Bassmaster Elite Series event. A top three finish in a progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year once again this year. This is 45th Bassmaster event and his 17th top 10 from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, Chris Johnston. We started with 90 and now 10 remain. In a few short hours, we will start the final day of Elite Series competition, exactly 200 days after it all started in Palatka, Florida. It all goes down right here at the Mississippi River. Eight hours of competition, and tomorrow at this time, there will be one. That one will be the final Elite Series champion of 20.